what's going on everyone thank you so much for watching today my name is savannah and if you're new here welcome we are back in planet zoo playing franchise mode and this of course is tolly zoo if you are new here and have not been keeping up with the series last episode we added these beautiful indian elephants we have our big male here and our two females there Sorry, I was trying to frame him in a, in a pretty screenshot there, but, you know, he happened to be standing next to a giant pile of poop, so uh, that's what you get. Sorry. <laughs> what a way to start an episode. But anyway, yeah, last time we added those Indian elephants there, and I was thinking that this time, um, I actually wanted to kind of see if I could finish this off kind of nicely, but uh, in this episode today, what I want to do is I want to relocate our tortoises because they are going crazy and we have too many tortoises. Um, and then I also, you guys had wonderful suggestions for the animal that should go in place of the tortoise and probably the most popular animal uh, suggestion was the lemur. So I think that is what we might go with today is where the tortoises are now. I'll go over there in just a second so you guys can see that. Where the tortoises are now, um, adding a lemur exhibit and then moving the tortoises over by where the babarusas are. Um, because that will hopefully allow us, yeah, that looks much better now that we have it like complete. We'll do the same on the other side. Um, so anyway, if we go over here, the tortoises are currently in the front here. They were the very first exhibit that we had, but I'm thinking we relocate them over here, possibly do a big exhibit for adults and a smaller one for babies, get them out of the way, make a little bit bigger space for them, and then turn this whole area into a lemur exhibit. I think that's a fantastic idea. So that's what we're going to be working on in today's time lapse. But, oh my gosh, you guys need to cool it off. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I want everyone on contraceptives. No, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Francesca, are you not satisfied with seven children? That's ridiculous. Eight, nine children. Ridiculous! Cool off! Goodness gracious! Ten! Ten children! Naughty tortoises. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Back to what we were saying. Uh, and then putting the tortoises over there. So that's what we're going to work on in this episode. But first... Oh no! Our male! These guys didn't have a very long life. That makes me very sad. Let's see, because now we should only have the baby in here, huh? No, we don't have anybody in here. Okay, so first and foremost, let's go ahead and take a look here at our... No, we want to go to the trading center and I want to go to animal storage. Because, yeah, we do. We have this one here and this one here, but they're siblings. So we are not going to be able to... Yeah, inbreeding. So they're siblings. So let's see who has... Our girl has slightly mm, better immunity, smaller size, our male. Let's go ahead and, and grab our male. So if we grab our male here, let's go ahead and send him to the zoo. Then we're going to need to get a female clouded leopard. Because of course we want more cubs. Clouded leopard? Yes. Clouded leopard female. You're not bad. You're not bad either. And by remember by bad, I mean I don't want the highest genes. Let's go ahead. Um Let's see. Is anybody slightly younger? Mm, nobody that is affordable. Let's just go ahead with you. Let's go ahead with you. Adopt. Send to zoo. Go ahead. We're going to bypass quarantine. It might be a bad decision, but it's okay. We're going to deal with it. So, uh, that is that now. We'll relabel them as soon as they get in there. Uh, Greater Flamingo is about to mate. That's great. Animal is stressed. Yeah, yeah, we're getting to you later. You guys will just have to relax. You had 10 babies at one time, so you're going to be a little stressed, Francesca. I'm sorry, but you did that to yourself. Mechanic research. East Asia theme. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Look at this. Okay, so we can basically just start doing this. I know it's not really 
We don't really need this, but I mean, why not, right? I'm just gonna research all of them up. Great, let's see, did they get in here yet? Let's see, oh, the, yes, perfect. So now we have that one there. And who are you? Are you our male or our female? This is our male, so we're gonna rename, right? Male, so we can keep nice and organized. Let's go ahead and speed it up just a bit and wait for our female. Our female should be here any minute. And I probably should have compared mates, but that's all right. We're gonna wing it. Our little female here, welcome to the pack. Female, perfect. Ru ro 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 me? Ro ro me? Oh gosh, I am so bad, I shouldn't even try. Let me know how to say that one. I think it sounds like a cool name, but I just can't say it properly. More mechanic research already. Africa theme, beautiful, perfect. All right, let's see. Lots of people in our zoo, we can't say hi to them. Uh, nothing on there, so yeah. So, wow, that's, we're doing pretty good here. So I don't think there was anything, uh, what? As soon as I said we're doing pretty good. How have you escaped? How the heck? What? Oh, does the barrier not go that far? That's really annoying. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> That's like barely an escape. And why can't we put it down green or blue? Why? Oh, uh, we're gonna have to. Um, can I put one in here? Mm, no, we're gonna put a rock there. So let's just see. You can fix yourself, little buddy. Can you just get out of that corner there, real quick? That would be great. If you could just, you could just get out of the corner. All would be well. People would stop for you know what? Screw it. <laughs> We're gonna box him up. I'm not patient. I don't want to wait. I want to go ahead and put a rock down right there so that they cannot do that again. Because that is very silly that that is a teeny tiny little escape route over there. Hopefully somebody will come for him soon. But there we go. Now they're not gonna be able to escape again. Great. Disaster somewhat averted. I guess disaster prevented uh, for future, but not averted because it happened in the first place. Uh, Indian elephant stuff. That's great. Perfect. Oh, and it went nighttime while we were in there. Let's go over to our Indian elephant and see. <gasps> yay! Oh, yay! We're gonna have a baby elephant soon! That's fantastic. The other thing that I did mention, um... During the stream, I believe, or at the end of last episode, I think we're gonna expand this out here. And what we'll do is we'll bring the path along over here and we'll do like another little viewing area right here. But that way they just have a little bit more space because right now we are on like just the verge of it being a little bit too small. So I'm gonna give them just a little bit more space. That way when they have babies and stuff, we're not gonna run into any issues or problems. Uh, so that's what we'll do is we'll we'll bring the path off around here, but that'll be that'll be for another 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 episode. Um, okay. So, with the sun rising here... Wait, what? <gasps> My goodness! I missed this alert! Look at that! Where's the camera? Look at the baby! Oh, look at the little eyelashes! <laughs> it's so cute! We are a little girl! Little baby girl! How adorable! Well, that's a better start to the episode with a little baby Indian elephant. How cool! Awesome. So we're about to have two of those <laughs> because our other female is pregnant as well. We didn't check. How are the genes? How are your genes? Mm, not the best. That's great. Fertility is great. Ooh, many guests think everything is underpriced again. Let's go ahead and... Raise up maybe 33 and 31. Perfect. There we go. Oh, um, there was one thing in the comments. Oh, that was it. Okay, now that we're making more money, I never went and upgraded any of our food. So we can totally afford to feed our animals better quality food, which is going to, of course, 
increase their welfare, right? So I never went ahead and did that. So I think that's a great idea. I totally forget who said that in the comments, but somebody was letting me know that now that we have that available, that we should definitely up all their food. Hopefully this doesn't make us go bankrupt, but um, I'm not going to bother with the tortoises because we're going to redo them uh, soon. So where is the barrier here? Make sure our otters have... Oh, there we go. I lost it for a second. Make sure our otters have good food. Our pygmy hippos have good food. Yeah, this should make everybody a whole lot happier um, because, I, yeah, I completely forgot that that was even a thing that we could do. And in fact, speaking of forgetting, I totally forget that we even have caiman because they're completely under this little roof here. <laughs> and I forget that they're even there. So um, hopefully I don't forget to check on them and, and make sure that they're not inbreeding and things like that. Oh, you guys were also extremely helpful in letting me know that yes, in fact, the um, scenery pieces, the guests still think they can see through them. So we'll see if adding this as one-way glass helped or not. Um, but we might have to turn it all into one-way glass just to make sure they can uh, they can feel secure. The, the jaguars can feel secure, rather, and, and not freaked out. So I wish we had, um, like, uh, blockaded um, scenery pieces, like, that would tell the guests, like, you're not allowed to view here, you know, that kind of thing. I think that would be a really cool addition to the game, um, especially if you're playing in franchise mode. So, staff are queuing to use a facility. Mechanics... Mm, might have to add a couple more of those. Oh, and we need to do some training, too, before we jump into the time lapse. So, let's go ahead. Let's get you on food shops, since you're not doing anything. Vet research complete. What did we get? In more Indian elephant stuff. Oh, that's right. That's what I went over here for in the first place, before we got distracted by baby cuteness. I wanted to see what we have for our Indian elephant. Aha. Uh, let's see. Enrichment. So, wow, we unlocked quite a bit. Oh, I forgot about this thing. Totally forgot about this thing. Let's go ahead and throw this back over here. That's something they, like, push around, right? Ooh, and we've got this. Let's go ahead and put that in there. I don't want to put too many, right? Because we're going to have to... <gasps> Since when can the elephants use a pool? I mean, I'm not going to put it in because we have we have this, right? But since when can they use this? Or is this one different from the one the dingoes can use? I think this one is different from the one the dingoes can use, huh? Or maybe not. Let me know. Oh, we could put this in. We can make this like a little feature, huh? Maybe something like... Go away. I don't like the heat thing. <laughs> maybe something over here. That looks good, except for it ruined my my ground over there. Um, let's see if we can bring that back. There we go. Ruined it. But that looks good, right? Awesome. All right. So they should be, you guys should be like more than happy now, huh? Enrichment, yeah. Habitat, cleanliness, you need a keeper. Oh, that's right. Okay, training. We're not going to get distracted. We're going to actually get things done this time. Um, let's go ahead and train all our caretakers. We have... I mean, so much money, you guys, $466,000. So um, we are going to train everybody, and uh, I think it should be okay because we are at the point where we're just, we are being super profitable and not having to worry at all about money. So we want everybody to be the most efficient as they possibly can at their jobs. Oh, we only have one security guard? We should, we should maybe get another security guard. Let's see... Make sure all of our vendors are trained as well. And then last but not least, our vets. Why don't we... Why don't we get, like, two more security guards? There we go. I think that's good because our, our zoo is pretty big now. So the fact that we only have one security guard running around is is a bit too little, I think. We definitely need a couple more. Habitat cleanliness is a disease risk. Oh, did I not set them up with a work zone? Mechanic research. Let's see. Aquatic theme, yay! Um, let's see. Go away. Did I not? Oh, I don't think I did. I don't think I did. 
I did not. So that is that one. Uh, what is that? That's a workshop. That's a workshop. That's a research center. So no, we want staff room and keeper hut. Yes. Okay. So this will be Indian elephants. Great. Perfect. All right. So that's Indian elephant. Now let's go ahead and get a staff. Oops. I was in the right tab. Let's go ahead and get a, where are they? Keeper. Here we go. Perfect. Um, yeah, one should be fine, right? One should be fine. Let's go ahead and wait. I have to pay you less. Don't run away. Don't run away. You just started. You don't get paid that much. All right. Work zones. Uh, oh no. Staff. Let's go to keeper in no work zone. Let's go Indian, Indian elephant. Okay. There we go. So you're already on your way over there. So that's great. And I, I think that's all we need, right? God, the work zones kind of drive me nuts. So the um, caretakers shouldn't be in work zones, right? Yeah, no. So maybe let's get one more, one more caretaker. There we go. There we go. Just because we are, we are totally financially capable of just kind of getting more staff members, right? I think so. Awesome. What else? Habitat cleanliness. You're right there. You're going to clean that up and arctic theme awesome great at least you wait where'd you go are you gonna feed them is that what you're doing you should clean up the poop you should okay well hopefully they'll clean that up very quickly what habitat oh no that's what i just clicked on where did the there was a negative impact whatever here let's just get one more staff member we're made of money now, so let's just hire everybody and their mom. All right, go ahead, right there. Let's see, get you, pay you less. Oops, <laughs> I like that it calls them a trainee. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. <laughs> that they're uh, uh, at the first star, that they're only considered a trainee. That's funny. Um, where did you go? You will be, you will be, oh, we have another one in no work zone. You'll be Indian elephant. Great. Where are they going? Are they going to come over here and clean this? Call keeper. Come clean up this mess. Look at this. There's poop. Oh my gosh. Poop all over the place. Jeez. And more on the way. So yeah, if you could come clean that, that would be, that would be fantastic. Did I check and make sure... Okay, the water is within reach, so that's great. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, it's still kind of cloudy, but I don't know. I always hold my breath when I, like, um, fast forward it, right, to wait for the weather to change. Uh, half the chance is that it's going to go to rainy because we're in a tropical biome, and I really don't want to do the speed build in the rain. So I'm kind of testing fate here um, a little bit. Uh, more mechanic research. That's awesome. Oh, it went to sunny. Great. Pause. Awesome. And vet research for more Indian elephant stuff. All right, guys. So we lucked out. It's nice and beautifully sunny. Let's go ahead and get to it. So look at us go. We get lots done in this time lapse. However, we get a lot done but there still is even more I feel left unfinished. And that's because we tackle two enclosures in this time lapse. The first being the tortoise habitat that we're gonna work on now. So this is where we are going to be rehoming our Galapagos giant tortoises and our Aldebra giant tortoises. Uh, they're going to be over here. We're going to have a new enclosure for parents and then a side enclosure for the babies. Overall, I'm super pleased with the start of this, but I will say that it is by no means finished and done by the end of the episode. There's still a lot to do, but at least we have them happy in a new enclosure. Their welfare is met, so we shouldn't be attracting any more protesters, which is always the goal, right? We don't want protesters to show up. So I'm really honestly just copying over a lot of elements from the original Galapagos tortoise and, and Aldebra giant tortoise enclosure because I really wasn't trying to do anything new. I was just trying to get them a bigger space and 
then obviously a holding area for the babies so that when they do have offspring, we can kind of put them in their own little nursery, so to speak, and then wait for them to grow up. And then we can transfer adults into the bigger enclosure. Um, I don't think that that will necessarily help me keep track of them any better, but it looks pretty. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going with a kind of tropical feel building again, just keeping with our theme of Tali Zoo. I end up switching this concrete here out for plaster. The idea being that I might want to change the color of the plaster. I haven't quite decided yet, so let me know what you think. But using this bamboo uh, kind of accent on the bottom here, I end up bringing the same theme over to the lemur exhibit as well. And I'm sure you've already figured out that our second enclosure is, of course, the red ruffed lemur and the ring tailed lemur, because I'm sure that I'm going to take a picture of the uh, of the new animal for the thumbnail. So I'm sure you figured that out. But yeah, so we continue that kind of theme throughout uh, what we're building here today. And then on this enclosure, uh, incorporating some of the thatched roof, I switch it here in a second. I was originally going to go for something that looked more utilitarian kind of, but figured, you know, it's a tropical zoo. We're going to keep with the theme. We're going to keep going with what we have been doing. Um, and I have different plans for this one, actually, in adding some external support beams rather than all the bamboo being underneath, bringing that up on top of the roof you'll see that a little bit later I kind of sort of start with what my idea is um, but yeah using all this rock work here as the separator I end up making these nurseries way too small to begin with so we do end up making them a little bit bigger and I think in the end the adult habitats are probably a little bit big they're probably like double the size they need to be, honestly, <laughs> but the nurseries are a good size, uh, especially for the one, uh, is it the algebra tortoise that had like 10 babies? My goodness, or the Galapagos tortoise, I forget which one now, but one of them had like 10 offspring, the crazies. Goodness gracious, don't they know what it takes to raise 10 children on a budget of two adults? Goodness craziness getting into that uh but anyway there is a, a big enough enclosure for the babies and then the other tortoise whichever one it is only had like three or four babies so that one fits totally fine um but yeah so we're just gonna finish this up here getting them their shelter i almost forget enrichment for them and then they're all unhappy but we end up getting that in there uh eventually and yeah it's very simple very straightforward um but really enjoyed making this one this is going to be a longer episode i believe it's going to be upwards of like 50 minutes or so. I actually spent about two and a half hours uh, creating what you're seeing here. So it does normally take me a pretty long time, especially in Tali Zoo, because I'm not working with any reference pictures. I'm kind of just going off uh, the, the seat of my pants kind of thing or flying by the seat of my pants, uh, just going with what I think looks nice. Um, oh, look at Miko. I did add that to, uh, to the work zone. <laughs> pat on back for me because uh, I actually did that but um yeah, anyway, so I, it, I do get a lot of questions on, you know, how long it takes me to build things or how I'm able to build so fast. Please do remember that all the time lapses are just that. They're sped up, they're time lapses. So they do show my build progress in like seven or 800 times speed. Um, so this normally takes me quite a while. And this enclosure, the tortoise one, and then also moving on to the ring-tailed and, and red rough lemur one, took me about two and a half hours and they're not even complete yet. So this stuff does take me a lot of time. Although I will say when we do get to the lemur exhibit, I made a stupid mistake because I'm a dummy and it's not like I've played this game for like 700 hours or anything like that, but I did something super inefficiently and I actually ended up cutting out a whole bunch of footage because it was super repetitive. You'll see what I mean when we get over there. Um, but yeah, me being the dumb dummy that I am did things, uh, not so efficiently and actually made myself take more time. But anyway, my point being is that it does take me quite a while to uh, to put these habitats together. Um, I'm bringing back the two-toned rock thing. I think I kind of fell off of it a little bit when we went and did the otter habitat. But remembering at the beginning of uh, Tali Zoo's creation, at the beginning of all of these episodes or this series, I did say that I wanted to incorporate the tropical rocks with the aquatic rocks because I feel like it gives it such a nice uh, variety of texture and things and I kind of just forgot about it up until now. So I'm bringing that back uh, in both enclosures. I, I dropped some like real natural looking tropical rocks in there just to make sure that there's a little bit of variety in texture, a little bit of variety in color. And so it doesn't look so 
kind of like plasticky, I guess, is how I might describe it. Um, I love the aquatic rocks, don't get me wrong, but adding just a little bit of texture, I think just breaks it up just a bit. Um, each of the tortoise enclosures does have a little uh, pond slash pool, uh, making sure to surround those with rocks and make them look all nice and pretty. And then the foliage is pretty self-explanatory. I actually like this foliage a whole lot better than I liked the plants and things in the last exhibit. I don't know what it is, but I decided to use, uh, I think it's that tamarind tree that has the orange uh, flowers on on it. Super, super pretty if it's sunk into the ground, make it look like a little bush or something like that. Um, so I ended up using that, which is what I did not use in the other exhibit. And I think it adds the right uh, amount of, of color and variety to the foliage. Now here doing a little bit of a decorative piece. I thought it was well, okay, let me take that back. Oh my goodness. I almost said I thought it was too much rocks. No such thing. <laughs> I almost thought it was too repetitive or uh, just, yeah, not too many rocks, just too many rocks without something else. Let's say that because you can never have too many rocks, but I think they needed something uh, of interest, a little bit of variety to this little wall. So that's all that is, you know, obviously tortoises can't climb or anything. They are not getting over that rock wall uh, as it was plain, but I think that adding the little bamboo with the rope kind of ties in the tropical theme and then just gives it a little bit of interest. You can see here, this is where I'm making the whole thing bigger because now the tortoises are in and I've realized that it was far too small for how many there were. So trying to make that bigger and then throwing down all of their enrichment. I'm pretty sure we have everything unlocked for the tortoises. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I would be super surprised if we didn't considering they were our very first animal. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure we have everything unlocked for them. So just throwing down some food and some... Um, uh, normal like play enrichment. What is it? Toy enrichment? Yeah, toy enrichment. I couldn't think of the word toy for a second. Anyway, throwing down some food enrichment and some toy enrichment to make sure they are nice and happy and then just finishing off uh, the other two habitats. Uh, or other three habitats rather, because there's two adult ones and two baby habitats. And then kind of uh, adding a little bit of interest to this building, because I really didn't want it to be all flat across. It was going to be one really long, straight, repetitive looking building. So kind of adding this raised part, I don't imagine it would actually be anything of use in the actual, like actual zoo. It's probably not going to be a second story. Maybe it's just a part inside the building where they raise the roof and they have vaulted ceilings or something like that, or higher ceilings however you want to call them um but it adds it breaks up the monotony of the whole long you know singular patterned roof that looked kind of boring but this is where i'm testing out that external uh, framework that I was talking about. And again, it just breaks up that repetitive thatching on the top of the roof. I'm a really big fan of this thatched roof, actually. I have not used it other than in Tali Zoo that I can remember. Um, but yeah, the more I use it, the more I really, really like it. Um, but yeah, so I'm happy with how that comes out. Probably going to do that across the entire roof, um, but was saving that for a another episode. It was at this point which I realized that I was spending so much time on the tortoise habitat and we still have a whole lemur habitat to do. So I wanted to squeeze that in without, uh, without making this episode like a two hour episode. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on the lemur habitat now. So first off, just kind of deleting everything. We do need to put down, oh, that is what I totally forgot to do. Now that I'm realizing it, we didn't put down education or donation bins or anything that makes it an actual zoo. <sighs> goodness, one day I'll remember that we're playing franchise, that it's not sandbox, and I can't just build pretty things and expect them to work in game. Uh, so we'll have to do that next episode. Yell at me in the comments. Make me remember, because I remember your guys' comments, but I don't remember my own uh, wants and desires for the <laughs> for the game. So so yell at me. Please uh, tell me that I was a dummy and I forgot. Uh, I forgot education and I forgot donation bins, because we'll get those added next time. Um, but yeah, starting on the lemur exhibit here, doing something real simple just for a framing feature for um, the chain link fence because this is the beginning of our zoo, right? So this has replaced the tortoise enclosure where it was as kind of the first thing you see when you walk in the zoo. And with Tali Zoo being... I'm not calling it an under-budget zoo, but I'm calling it a zoo... Okay, the beginning of the zoo, the entrance of the zoo is old, 
I guess is how I'm describing it. So trying to make something that doesn't look like massive and, and extravagant and expensive, um, but something kind of old school. I really was thinking about the Binturong habitat that I made for Sakura Zoo when I built this, and I didn't want to copy it straight over because that thought did cross my mind. I thought, you know what? I already have that in a blueprint. I could just copy it, plop it down, and make a little bit of an adjustment, and we're good to go. But no, I decided <laughs> I really try to build something new for each episode. Not that there's anything wrong with using your own blueprints or somebody else's blueprints, but I really wanted to make something new and something different uh, for this episode. So I uh, restrained myself. I didn't use my blueprint, but used or built something that was uh, inspired by that blueprint. So these Australian beams that came with the Australian DLC my favorite pieces, one of my favorite pieces, uh, because they're not climbable. It's great. You can frame, uh, frame things with them and the, uh, lemurs can't climb out. We do end up putting the anti-climbing stuff on the chain link fence, of course, because the chain link fence itself is climbable. Um, but yeah, very simple habitat. I end up putting the framework for a water waterfall. Blah, 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 blah. I'm tripping over my words. <laughs> can you tell that it's the end of the day? And you know, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to sleep. My, uh, starting to, to mumble and, and slur my words words together out of tiredness. Tiredness. Oh my goodness. Sorry guys, if I could talk, this would be a whole lot more enjoyable of an episode. But here, this is where I am so inefficient. I feel so stupid. So <laughs> in copying all these beams over into the small ones, right? It works. It looks good. It accomplishes what I needed to do. But all I had to do was slide the long bars back because there's two panels worth. And I don't know if this is gonna make any sense, but right here, all I had to do was slide the long ones back because they would go inside the ones that are just to the right of it. And I only realized this after going back and looking at how this thing was actually built. So one, I did this super inefficiently, but two, uh, so many pieces. Why, Savannah? Why using multiple, like double the amount of pieces that you actually had to use? Ugh, I feel, I feel like I just started playing Planet Zoo yesterday. I was so disappointed in myself. <laughs> of course, I, I'm joking, you know, it gets the job done. But I was like, if I could have spent like half the amount of time accomplishing the same task, why would you not? Anyway, I will, I'll let that one go. It's done. It looks pretty. I'm not going back and changing it. It is what it is, but just wanted to point out my, uh, my stupid mistake. <laughs> so if you make mistakes like that, uh, you're not alone. I am definitely right there with you. But that's because at this point, um, I actually did this mostly sitting down straight through and I don't normally do that. Um, let me know if you guys do or do not sit down and kind of build for hours on end. I don't. My mind can't focus on it uh, or focus on things for a super long amount of time. And I don't, I don't have like attention span problems or anything like that, but I just really get bored working on the same thing for really long amount of times. So that usually if I'm not streaming, I usually only sit down for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, maybe an hour. And then I take a break and I come back and I take a break and I come back. And that's generally how I complete things uh, in any game. Um, there's a few games that I can sit down and play hours and hours and hours of. Uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild, when it first came out, was one of those games. I remember it came out and I would spend my days off. No joke, I would play for like nine hours straight all day. That was, it was a ridiculous. I loved that game. Anyway, but Planet Zoo is not like that. Um, it gets very tedious, especially building um, detailed things like we often do here on the channel. Um, so I normally do take lots of breaks. So this was an exception. I did kind of build this straight through. So I think that is why that was my super long roundabout way of telling you guys that I think that's why I made an oversight with the with the bars. I just wasn't thinking very clearly uh, because I was I was tired. I was fatigued from building. Um, but we are putting the finishing touches up here. Um, just some climbing frames, obviously, for the lemurs to climb around because they are climbing animals. Um, and I don't make anything custom or crazy. Just pull 
pulling out some of these uh, pre-fabricated ones from the game and placing them together like I think that they would look good. Um, but we certainly got a lot more to do on this habitat to make it look perfect and beautiful. But for now, we're going to jump back to real-time Savannah, who has who has a little bit of problems with some moonwalking lemurs, but I'll, I'll let you see that in a minute. We'll get back to, uh, to real time in just a moment. Oh my goodness, that was a long uh, time lapse. At least I'm only imagining, because I just finished building. I actually haven't looked at how long the time lapse is going to be, but we were productive. Although I feel like despite how productive we are, we might have just ended up with more projects than completed things, but that's okay. So we have our tortoises here with a baby nursery next to each one. I think this is going to work out a whole lot better and we have a whole lot more room for our tortoises. In fact, they might have even been a little bit too big of enclosures, especially like the adult ones, because they're supposed to really only be a few adults in each of these. Um, and I ended up having to make these ones bigger because there was just too many babies. Um, we're not going to look at the backside of this building. Uh, we're going to ignore that for now, but at least the front part looks nice and pretty, uh, or at least it's, you know, it's started. So we've got our tortoises relocated over here. And then the main attraction for today is I've kind of redone this little entrance area. So coming into the zoo here, it's gonna be this little like nature trail so that you can come over here and look at lemurs. So that's what we're gonna get put in today is some red ruffed and ring tailed lemurs. So I got this started for them. Obviously this has left a lot more uh, to be desired. <laughs> a lot more needs to be finished, but at least we have the major backbone. Oh my gosh, this was a pain to do and I'm never doing it again. <laughs> But I'm happy with how it looks. So let's go ahead before I unpause it because, whoops, I didn't mean to click on that. Before I unpause it, because I don't want to unleash all this redness over here, let's go ahead and take a look at the animal trading and see if we can't get ourselves some red ruffed and ring tailed lemurs. Red ruffed and ring tailed lemurs. Great. You might have seen in the time lapse, I hovered over Red Panda. I was thinking about him, I really was, but at the end, um, everybody had suggested lemurs, or at least a lot of people had, and I just think they are such a phenomenal entrance animal uh, that they won out in the end. So that's what we're going to get. Uh, let's see, ooh, uh, let's go ahead and get you. Are not too, too old, right? No, okay. That was a female. Now we need a male. You'll do a male. Let's go ahead and get a male. Ooh, we might have to buy this one for, um, for actual money, which I don't necessarily like to do, but that's okay. I want them to have uh, a big enough group size. Let me double check. Uh, let's see, three to 30 and I'm pretty sure, yeah, three to 30. So we may, oh. Wow, a whole lot more of them just popped in. Um, let's go ahead and get another female then. Adopt you. And then where's another female of the red? Oh no, we're out of conservation credits. <laughs> How sad. Okay, well, that's all right for now. I wonder, did the red ruffed lemurs and the ring tailed lemurs, lemurs count each other as their groups? Um, I'm not quite sure if they do, but let's go ahead and plop them in there. And do we dare? Hit play. <laughs> what is going on over here? Okay, mechanic research isn't bad. That's great. This should make these a different color so it doesn't look so angry. Uh, water facility broken down. Oh, vending machine broken down. Go ahead and call the mechanic for that one. That is not too bad. I can handle that. What is going on with the animals? Clouded leopard, why? Pause, pause, pause. Why do you have... What is, what is wrong with your space? There's no way because you're in a, you're in a, okay. Redo your space. Think about it for a second. You go over here and think about what is actually in your habitat and whether you have enough space or not. Let's go ahead and see where is, yeah, you have tons of space. I mean, climbable space. Oh, that's a glitch. It was doing this thing to me earlier too, um, at the beginning of the, 
time lapse, I was trying to get the tortoises moved over and it was telling me that these enclosures aren't connected by a path when they clearly are. I saved the game, closed it and restarted it and it's fixed itself. So I'm wondering if that's a bug too because I didn't move anything in here and it all counted as climbing space before. So, um, dangerous fighting due to overcrowding. <gasps> Do we have... We, wow, we have lots of little babies in here. So let's go ahead and put you guys in store. <gasps> oh no, okay. I highlighted it and I thought it was a black jaguar, but duh, the picture's not a black jaguar. So why would it be a black jaguar in real life? I don't know, but I got really excited for a second. Um, trade center with you, please. And thank you, stop fighting with your father. That's rude. All right, so we'll have to label them as store. Oh. Hello, thank you. Uh, label them as storage so that we don't forget. Oh my goodness, we have lots of animals thus far. That's great, but it's getting a little bit a lot that I'm having to try to keep up with here. We're really gonna prove my playing skills here as not just a builder, but a player. It's already getting quite difficult. Um, let's see, okay, you know what? to to the trade center with you and to the trade center with you because i'm going to figure you guys out later for now that's going to be empty just because i want to keep it unpaused because i want to go look at our lemur friends <gasps> yay okay we need to get some enrichment for them but look okay they love the habitat that's perfect i always worry oh can i select you please hello there we go. Um, always worry. Social group, that's right. We need one more of them. So that answers my question. They don't count each other as a group. But let's go ahead and see if we have anything for enrichment for these guys. Uh, species. And we want ring, tailed, or red rough. They're going to be exactly the same. So let's see. There we go. Let's go ahead and see if we have anything. Yes. So they like a box, which is awesome. They like this little mirror thing. Let's go ahead and put this up on a... Uh, well, let's put this over here on this little platform. That's probably good. Let's go ahead and put you on there. Let's go ahead and get you a... Yeah, we'll give you an ice ball. That's fine. You can have ice ball. And then how about... Ooh, I forgot about this. Let's actually... Um, ooh, I wonder if we can't fit it in this. Oh, come on, please. <gasps> yes. Let's go ahead and fit it right... Right here, I think, is perfect. Awesome. Yeah, and then we will integrate that into the rocks, kind of like we did with the elephants uh, in their enclosure. Let's see if we can't bring this up again. Perfect. There we go. Yay! So now they should be nice and happy. Beautiful. All right, so we have a male and a female of you. Let's go ahead and see if we can't find one more red ruffed. Um, oh, man, they're all conservation. I need, I need, I need another <laughs> red ruff lemur. I felt so complainy right there. I felt like a child. I want a red ruff lemur now. That's exactly how I feel. <gasps> oh no, all for conservation credits. Dang it, and what is happening over here? Oh, already? Dang, <sighs> come on. How are they escaping? How? Whoa! What is going on? Why? Hold up, hold up, hold up. That cannot be my fault. I refuse to take responsibility for that one. Let me see here. Yeah, that's not my fault. This apparently could be my fault over here. But what the heck is happening? What the heck is happening here? That I don't understand. Oh, Planet Zoo. All the glitchiness today, apparently. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to leave it here um, in the next episode. I really, really do want to get this tidied up. Maybe the aardvark, maybe finish up some of the tortoise. So maybe next episode is a overhaul episode is what I'm thinking. Get some of these loose ends tied up. We have tons of money. We have so much money. We don't know what to do with it. Conservation credits, on the other hand, is a little bit lacking. So we need to get on breeding some of our animals, I think. But... 
With that, I think that's all for this episode here. Feeling like this is going to be a bit of a longer one. Watch, I'm going to say that and it's going to be like 24 minutes. <laughs> but I'm feeling like it's a bit of a longer one, so I am going to leave it here. Okay, that's the problem. Did you see that? That is not my fault. That is, that is not my fault in any way. He moonwalked off of this through the wall and you're going to do it too. Okay, no, thank you. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. This, hopefully when we reload into the game, is not going to be a problem. Uh, because that's rather annoying. I really like the climbing structure right there. Uh, but all right. Anyway, I am going to officially wrap it up before any more of our lemurs moonwalk through plaster walls like the magicians that they are. And if you did enjoy the episode, I do ask that you leave a like and subscribe if you do want to keep up with more content. Lots of fun stuff coming to the channel. Really helps me out. So I do appreciate all the support as always. If you want to join our Discord, the link is down in the description below. Lots of fun stuff happening over there. And in until next time, I will talk at you in the next episode. Bye!